Cole, aka Sister Cole, and good Monday morning. And you know what I need you to do? I need you to subscribe to my page. Subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when I come on. Like, share, and leave a comment. All right, let's get into it. I am going to be doing fried cabbage Southern style. Yeah. My ingredients here. I have white onions, I have red pepper, green pepper, some thyme, I got some of that scotch bonnet pepper, the heat, and I have myself some cabbage, and right there is bacon. Let's get into it, baby. So if you don't like bacon, if you don't like, um, you know, pork, you can do, you know, um, beef bacon, you can do turkey bacon, you know, this is Twyla's Kitchen, this is how I'm doing it, but you do it how you want to do it. You let your creative you know your creative flow you know you just let it flow all right but i'm just here to provide a template and you my girl are going to do the rest or you my people girl guys whatever you're gonna put your own flavor to it let's get into it Good old iron pot. This is an iron skillet. You guys know how much I love an iron pot. You know, um, it just, it, an iron pot is just, you know, it's just so good. It doesn't easily burn and it just cooks the food oh so nice. So inside of my iron skillet, I have put some butter. So we're going to um, fry up our cabbage with butter. Added all the vegetables, the carrots, the onion, the green pepper, the red pepper, the um, thyme, the hot uh, scotch bonnet pepper. I have added it all to my skillet. And I'm going to stir and let it brown or cook up or stir fry, whatever you want to call it. Beautiful that looks. Nice. Adding some onion powder and some garlic. I'm also going to be adding some black pepper. Added the seasoning with my um, vegetables, okay? Because what do I like? Those of you who watch me, I love my food to be what? Seasoned. I don't want any bland food on my plate or anyone else's plate, okay? So there I have put the seasonings and sauteed with the vegetables. And I will also add more seasoning once I put the cabbage in. Meanwhile, I have my cut up bacon inside of my um, skillet and my Dutch pot and I'm frying it to add to the vegetables. You don't add any oil to bacon because bacon already has its own oil. And we're gonna be using all of that to flavor up I'm our bacon. my bacon to the pot. Now you can fry the bacon the way you want. Some people, I mean, if you want it hard, I don't want it hard. Um, okay, I don't want to, I didn't fry my bacon hard hard, but I fried it until it was cooked. So we're gonna add it to the vegetables. Add my cabbage to the pot. I wash my cabbage off with salt and cold water. The whole cabbage, but you guys can use a half a cabbage. Remember, whatever you want to do, that's how you do it. I use a whole cabbage because uh, my family likes. I'm not to add any water to this because cabbage makes its own water. All right, and um, I'm not going to add a top to this right now because I don't want it to have excess or a large you know, a great amount of water in it. So I'm just going to leave the top off for a minute. All right. Now I'm going to mix the pot, make sure my ingredients is all mixed together. And then I'm going to sit and let it steam and cook. And this is pretty much it. This is your good old Southern fried cabbage. I wish you guys could smell the aroma. <laughs> I wish you could smell the aroma. Listen, I did not come to play. I came to slay, honey. This is a very easy dish. Very easy dish. And remember, season it to your likings. Season it to your likings. I did go back and added a little bit of lard as well. Okay, I did went and added a little lard because I felt that it needed a little bit more um, seasoning. Okay? Alright, but again, you season it the way you like it. You use the seasoning you like it. And I'm gonna add a little bit more butter in this as well, okay? Cabbage cook about 20 to 30 minutes. 20 
to 30 minutes okay but like again you and when you feel that it's done you take it out when it's nice and soft not like mushy but you know a little soft some people like it with a little crunch it's up to you it looks so good you guys and it tastes so good all right you guys want a bite want a bite all right go ahead go get your spoon it's so good